I'm Corey Duke. Here are your top stories from Two Works For You. Tulsa police are looking for leads after the city's latest homicide over the weekend. On Saturday evening, 38-year-old Frankie Foster was shot and killed at the Normandy Apartments near 41st and South Sheridan. Police say Foster and his girlfriend were sitting in a car in the parking lot when someone pulled up in a black SUV and shot him. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. The girlfriend was not hurt. A Senate bill that would classify abortion as homicide is not moving forward at the Oklahoma State Capitol. A Senate leader says Senate Bill 13 will not be brought up for a committee vote. Just last week, we showed you the large crowds that showed up at the state capitol to rally in support of the bill. And the Navy's newest warship, the USS Tulsa, is now ready for service this morning. It was commissioned in San Francisco on Saturday. It has electronic components made by the firm U.S. Pioneer right here in Tulsa. The ship will soon head to San Diego, its home port. Now let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Corey. It's been a bone chilling cold start to our day and it's going to be a chilly afternoon for us with a mostly sunny sky. Temperatures this afternoon in the middle to upper 30s heading into tonight to the overnight hours. We see a wintry mix begin to push in, so that's going to be right around the time we head off to work tomorrow morning. Some sleet and snow possible. That's going to mix it with a little bit of light rain, too, and can even see some accumulations. Osage County back throughout Pawnee County of maybe one to two inches. So tomorrow, pretty tricky travel situation for us heading into our Wednesday upper 40s, 50s by Thursday and Friday, 60s Saturday. That's when we'll see chances for a few showers and storms. Corey. Thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, two works for you.